hi, welcome to the Portsmouth Travel and Tourism Show. My name is Dave Schulte, a tourism manager for the city of Portsmouth. In today's show, we're going to visit two attractions that draw visitors to Old Town. First, we'll go to the Children's Museum of Virginia, the largest children's museum in the entire state. Then we'll visit Anderson Wright Rooms and Gardens, one of the great specialty stores that draws visitors to Old Town. And we'll wrap up today's show with a look at a new video that highlights all there is to see and do in Portsmouth. The Children's Museum of Virginia has been educating and entertaining kids and their families for 38 years. Let's pay a visit there and meet Nancy Perry, Director of Museums for the City of Portsmouth. Hi, I'm Nancy Perry, Director of Museums for the City of Portsmouth, and welcome to the Children's Museum of Virginia. The Children's Museum will be 40 years old in 2020. It was started by a group of women, the Portsmouth Service League, in 1980 in the basement of the Main Branch Library on Court Street. It then moved to the uh, first floor of what is now the Art and Cultural Center on Court and High and then to the building that we're in today, which used to be a Leggett's department store. So this is an actually adaptive reuse of this building. In uh, 2009, the building closed for extensive renovation. We added 12,000 square feet and we reopened in 2011. When you come to the Children's Museum, there's 35,000 square feet of exhibits, including a planetarium. On the first floor, it's designed like a city and it's designed for children about six and under uh, and for role play. We have a bank with a car, pneumatic tube, ATM. Uh, we have a pets and vets area where kids can examine pets, uh, go through a doghouse. In the safety zone, you can dress up like a fireman and get in a fire, in a fire engine. You can also put out a fire. We have a library setting where every child that comes here can take a book home for free. There's a changing exhibit and we have two to three changing exhibits a year. Um, people love to take pictures and the big chair, big purple chair, that's adjacent to the changing exhibit. The, uh, we have a tugboat that kids can fish from. We have a bubble room uh, where kids love making giant bubbles adjacent to the bubble room where there's a special area for children three and under. It's called the tot lot where there's a family restroom and a nursing station. Um, and one of the other major exhibits is the Lancaster Toy and Train Collection. Uh, it was donated by the Lancasters. It's about 10,000 pieces. Uh, we have a multi-layer train layout as well as a Thomas the Tank area where kids can spend hours uh, designing their own tracks and playing with Thomas. On the second floor, uh, we have three thematic areas. One is My Backyard and Beyond, which talks about the environment and recycling um, and energy. Uh, we have a creativity area, which is uh, art-based. Uh, adjacent to that is a make and take room and a performance space. And then we have what we call Dr. Force's Traveling Energy Extravaganza, and it's on science concepts. We also have two classrooms. Uh, two birthday party rooms and an orientation space in the building. As I stated before, in 2020, the Children's Museum would be 40 years old. The Portsmouth Museums Foundation is our fundraising arm and our partner, and they'll be launching a capital campaign to upgrade our exhibits uh, in 2020 and beyond. Uh, we have engaged an exhibit designer, Lee Skolnick and Associates, out of New York City, and we are in the conceptual design phase right now, which will be completed in October of 2018. As you enter the train exhibition, uh, it looks like you're going to a train station. Um, the floors have train tracks. The floors have train tracks on them, and you follow the train tracks into the exhibit. There is a uh, multi-level exhibit. Uh, train layout which takes you from Portsmouth to Richmond through Charlottesville and on to, to Roanoke. Uh, at that train layout there's a number of buttons that you can push that uh, manipulate certain things like a hot air balloon and railroad crossing coming down. We also have two uh, tubes that children can crawl in and pop their heads up and see the trains go around. We also have uh, hundreds of pieces of the trains collection in cases as you enter the train room and in the train room itself. The Beasley Planetarium came to us in the 90s from Portsmouth Public Schools. It's managed, but we have a planetarium manager, Dan Borick, and he runs programs for the general visitor and programs for schools that are tied to the SOL standards. And you can make reservations just by calling the Children's Museum 393-5258. 
extension 44, and you can reserve a planetarium program for your, for your group. The planetarium is named the Beasley Planetarium because when we did the renovation in 2009 and 11, the Beasley Foundation generously funded the upgrades to the planetarium. The Children's Museum is really the crown jewel of downtown Portsmouth. It's actually the largest children's museum in Virginia. In addition to the exhibits, we have a number of events that happen throughout the year. Uh, and we have school programs and we have summer camps. We do a special toddler days twice a year and one of the programs we're very proud of is special day, special day for special needs. Um, that happens three times a year and it's been generously sponsored by Elizabeth River Crossings in the past and the Portsmouth Service League. We hope we'll see each of you this summer and the fall at the Children's Museum of Virginia. Thank you. Want to show your Portsmouth pride? Visit the Portsmouth Visitor Center to find all kinds of clothing and merchandise that proudly bears the Portsmouth logo. The Visitor Center is located in Old Town at North Harbor, next to the Renaissance Hotel. The staff will be happy to help you plan your visit and help you pick out clothing and gifts. Here you will find sweatshirts, t-shirts, fleece, caps, and all kinds of sportswear and gifts to show off your Portsmouth pride. The Visitor Center is open daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please stop by to say hello. There's a place where imaginations are sparked, where curiosity's reward is laughter, where history comes to play, and entertainment choices are many. With all tunnels now open in both directions, Portsmouth is now so very easy to reach. We invite you to eat, play, shop, and stay. All tunnels are now open. Rediscover your neighbor, Portsmouth. Historic Old Town Portsmouth is home to many specialty shops that draw visitors from all over the region. Anderson Wright Rooms and Gardens has been a favorite of visitors for years. Let's pay a visit there and meet the co-founder, Philip Weber. I'm Philip Weber, co-founder of Anderson Wright Rooms and Gardens at 622 High Street in Old Town Portsmouth. Anderson Wright opened in uh, 1996. Uh, we spent a year and a half renovating the building. Again, it was uninhabitable, but we also restored the apartment above the shop. Uh, it was on the 2001 Historic Garden Week tour. Um, and we've since expanded. We had an opportunity about 10 years into our business to acquire the building next door. We did rent that out for a while. There was a turnover of tenants, in which point we decided let's expand and, and really focus on our garden accessories. The original building that we purchased had 12-foot ceilings. It was a very grand, elegant space. We added some architectural detail to the space. Um, the other appeal was the, is the courtyard directly behind the shop. It's completely enclosed, over 16 foot high walls. So it's a very controlled environment with, with our views. And uh, we cut a lot of openings from the adjacent building then in, into the courtyard, again, adding more architectural elements. But each space as we added a room had, has, has a different theme. One has more arts and crafts, and kind of Asian type uh, statuary and pieces. Uh, another room is, is more interior pieces, artwork, and pieces that you would use on indoors. Anderson Wright is derived from our mother's maiden names. Uh, Bill's mother was a Anderson and my mother was a Wright. Uh, the rooms and gardens part, we, we started with antiques and decorative accessories, uh, but had, had in mind all along to edge into the, the uh, garden pieces to ex also accessorize. Anderson Wright is a, was, was an interesting build, building to start with. Uh, it was dilapidated. We saw the potential in it. Uh, a, a lot of the original architectural features were here or partially hidden, so um, we just saw the opportunity to carve something out of this building and be part of a historic district and shopping district. Our merchandise is a variety of cast iron urns, garden planters, like cast, cast stone and cast concrete, a lot of which are very architectural and different styles. So it really, the, the business has a wide appeal to 
a wide range of, of customers. And, um, but we've also ventured into home accessories, things that people uh, need to accessorize inside, uh, all with a little bit of a garden edge and very architectural and very showy pieces. We seek out items that have an antique or historic or period look. Uh, our items are not old, but a lot of them are cast after pieces that are antique and old pieces. The process is, the, is a latex mold process, so it picks up the detail that you get from either an old actual stone or marble piece, uh, and then the finishes are done to either give it a variety of finishes in either a cast iron or also a stone look to them. Our customers definitely come from all over. Once someone even from Richmond hears about our, our shop, uh, we see a lot of people from Richmond shopping with us. I would say one of the big things we sell are the cast iron urns of various sizes. Uh, some are on pedestals, but it's a very architectural, classic look that even can be used indoors. Uh, even taking an urn, a 30-inch urn with a glass top makes it just a, a really great tabletop and table, table piece. Um, we also sell uh, cast stone planters of different architectural styles and finishes. Um, and some things are custom order depending on the size and the weight, but a lot of it we keep in stock and, and do get shipments in fairly frequently that we can get things in for customers. What's really unique about this property and the business is we have set up various room rooms and, and the courtyard itself. It just shows people a variety of ways to use uh, containers and urns, other architectural and decorative items. Uh, in their homes, in their gardens. And we, want, we wanted to create a business that inspired people to go home and even work with what they have. And sometimes you might need to fill in with something, but uh, really this has become a show place to inspire people to, to continue to, to decorate and work on their gardens. I think all the uh, garden centers and shops are, are, are very unique and very different. I think what makes us set apart is we don't sell plants. So, you know, we fall in a different kind of garden shop. Uh, but what we deal with is very architectural in look, something that you're going to anchor a garden with or uh, use to create a focal point. Of course, there's smaller things that you can accessorize and fill in. So we'd like to invite you by Anderson Wright at 622 High Street. Uh, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday, noon to 4. Want to show your Portsmouth pride? Visit the Portsmouth Visitor Center to find all kinds of clothing and merchandise that proudly bears the Portsmouth logo. The Visitor Center is located in Old Town at North Harbor, next to the Renaissance Hotel. The staff will be happy to help you plan your visit and help you pick out clothing and gifts. Here you will find sweatshirts, t-shirts, fleece, caps, and all kinds of sportswear and gifts to show off your Portsmouth pride. The Visitor Center is open daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please stop by to say hello. There's a place where imaginations are sparked, where curiosity's reward is laughter, where history comes to play, and entertainment choices are many. With all tunnels now open in both directions, Portsmouth is now so very easy to reach. We invite you to eat, play, shop, and stay. All tunnels are now open. Rediscover your neighbor, Portsmouth. The city's new tourism video highlights all there is to see and enjoy in Portsmouth. Let's take a look. Welcome to Portsmouth, Virginia, a waterfront community that invites you to discover our fascinating history, family fun, outdoor recreation, arts, entertainment, shopping, dining, and colorful special events. Located in the heart of coastal Virginia in the region known as Hampton Roads, Portsmouth is close to Virginia Beach, Norfolk, and Williamsburg. In fact, it's this unique location on one of the world's deepest natural harbors where our story begins. In 1752, merchant and ship owner Colonel William Crawford laid out plans for a new town on the banks of the Elizabeth River that he named in honor of Portsmouth, England. 
thanks to Portsmouth's deep natural harbor, the Gosport Shipyard was founded here in 1767. Shipbuilding was the high-tech industry of that time, and Portsmouth quickly became a center of maritime trade in colonial America. As the town grew, wealthy ship owners and sea captains built homes and churches along the waterfront in what is now known as Old Town. During the Revolutionary War, British troops seized Portsmouth because of the strategic importance of the shipyard. But unlike other captured American towns that were burned to the ground, Portsmouth was spared. And that's how Old Town survived. Today, Old Town is the site of one of America's largest collections of architecturally noteworthy 18th and 19th century homes. Visitors stroll Old Town's tree-lined streets to see more than 200 carefully preserved homes and churches. And Old Town's unique specialty stores and one-of-a-kind restaurants make for an enjoyable place to spend the day. But Old Town is more than just a pleasant place to take a stroll. Today, it is home to major attractions that delight the whole family. The Children's Museum of Virginia is the state's largest and most awesome kids' kingdom. Kids step inside a world where bubbles grow large and the forces of nature spark their imagination. They can be a farmer, banker, scientist, or a stargazer. Adults will think they are having an educational experience, but the kids are just having lots of fun. Learn about our maritime history at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard Museum, where you'll find beautiful ship models, military artifacts, and exhibits spanning 250 years of Portsmouth's history. Built in 1915, the lightship Portsmouth was equipped with a beacon that guided mariners off the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. Tour the ship's quarters to learn how the men of the lightship service lived during their months at sea. The Fresnel lens on display at the waterfront came from a lighthouse that served Virginia's eastern shore in the 1800s. The Hill House Museum in Old Town is an excellent example of an English basement home that was constructed in the federal style for a wealthy ship's captain. As the site of a former plantation, Portsmouth's African-American history dates back to near the very founding of the Virginia colony. Before the Civil War, Portsmouth was a pivotal stop on the Underground Railroad. The network of citizens and churches that helped enslaved people escape to the North and freedom. The Emanuel AME Church in Old Town protected runaway slaves as they waited to be spirited aboard ships heading to New England and Canada. The Portsmouth Community Colored Library Museum brings African American history alive through books, artifacts, hands-on activities, and interactive programs designed to promote pride, cultural diversity, activism, and understanding. The Railroad Museum of Virginia delights rail fans with an early 1900s Norfolk and Western steam locomotive, dining car, caboose, and depot-style platform. The Jewish Museum and Cultural Center houses rare artifacts and exhibits that tell the history of the Hampton Roads Jewish community. If the arts and entertainment are more your style, you've come to the right place. The Portsmouth Pavilion is a riverfront performing arts center that hosts some of the biggest names in show business. With 6,500 seats and a waterfront ambiance, it's the perfect setting for a night of unforgettable entertainment. Housed in the historic 1846 courthouse, the Portsmouth Art and Cultural Center presents visual art exhibits, lectures, classes, and performances that bring the works of world-renowned artists to Old Town. The galleries of the Visual Arts Center of Tidewater Community College feature exhibitions by regional and national artists, as well as students and faculty members. If you're looking for some outdoor fun, you'll find it here. Portsmouth is located at mile marker zero of the famous Intracoastal Waterway. Thousands of sailors and cruisers drop anchor here during their annual migration north and south. And if you would like to get a good look at the Navy ships anchored in the Elizabeth River, hop aboard the ferry that connects Old Town with downtown Norfolk. Bida Wee Golf Course is one of the nation's finest public courses. Its soaring pines and immaculate playing conditions earned a four-star rating from Golf Digest magazine. If you prefer to hike or kayak, Hoffler Creek Wildlife Preserve is just the ticket. 
This 142-acre wildlife preserve provides a thriving habitat for plants and animals native to Virginia. Paradise Creek Nature Park is a 40-acre urban park of restored forest and wetlands with two and one-half miles of hiking trails. And if you're looking for the perfect site for your group's next meeting, the Renaissance Portsmouth Norfolk Waterfront Hotel is one of the region's finest. Its waterfront location and outstanding service will be a hit with your guests. And finally, Portsmouth loves a good party. Our major annual festivals will put you in the spirit. A year-round lineup of events focus on entertainment, art, music, and food. Just pick your passion and join the fun. Thank you for discovering the new Portsmouth. Please come visit us soon.